Hey guys, how's it going? It's Blake or Craftmaster here, and today we are going to be going over the top 10 necessary Minecraft survival farms. So let's get right on into it. We're going to start out with this guy right here, and this design is repeated for pretty much exactly the same for bamboo, sugarcane, and the seaweed over there. And I'll probably end up doing a video or tutorial on each one of these. Hey guys, real quick before we get into this video, make sure you comment down below to let me know if you think I missed something or something that I should build in a future video. Also, while you're down there, hit that sub button so you stay tuned for when I do one of those builds that you suggested. Anyways, let's get back to the video. But this first build, really simple. You just have your bamboo on the bottom with a hopper minecart going into a hopper into a chest and you can, this one's probably the fastest farm actually no it's the second fastest farm the fastest farm is that melon farm over there um but you can see it'll grow up and one problem i have with this is that the bamboo items get stuck on top but um besides that this works really really nice and it's really simple it's just this observer this piston and this redstone right here and right here is all the stuff you can need in order to build this one uh design all right for farm number two we got pretty much the exact same thing over here um but it's for sugarcane and this one works a lot better because the sugarcane block isn't actually a solid block like this is um so the items can just fall right through and go right into the chest um and this one almost exactly the same as the last one the bamboo except for you're going to need a piece of water now and of course the sugarcane and this one differs by having i have a water right behind this block and then obviously you have the observer the redstone and the piston just like that all right here is farm number three we got a kelp farm and if you guys do want a better video on this i already made a video on how to make this really nice kelp farm and um, i made it way bigger way more efficient than what it is um, i'll have that linked in the cards and the description down below so make sure you go check that out and all you need for this guy is these parts here you're gonna need your water obviously and of course for all of these builds, all of builds, um, the glass is optional, the um, block of choice is optional, like right here the stairs, you have to have stairs, but again, um, a stair choice is optional, so that's all that you need for this one, and yeah, if you guys want to check that out, uh, check out my video on this. Now for farm number 4, the last one of this first row, we got the cactus farm. This is probably the simplest farm that we have and I did a wall of uh, outline of glass just to um, get the catch rate better and it's really hard for cactus to be really efficient because it um, can delete its own drop which is which can be annoying um, but I just have one source water block over there that's flowing to this corner and it will pick up all the cactus right in this uh, and it's just a one simple fence post made out of these items right here. All right, so for design number five, we got a cow farm. This is probably the simplest cow farm. And this only works because of the game mechanic of entity cramming. So you, I don't know what the, I forget what the starting one, the base entity cramming is, but I have this set at 30, um, 30 mobs just to make it a little bit more efficient. But all that this design is, is you get yourself a button you do this, and in a little U shape, you can like walk around, you can breed your cows, whatnot. I just bred them before this video, so they're not going to want to breed. But what you do is you breed them all up, and then spawn the babies. And because of how um, the mob entity cramming works, it doesn't kill the babies until it has to. So it will automatically kill all the adult cows. And then all their drops just get put into this chest right here, where you can get your leather and your raw beef really nice really simple and it's just this one dispenser with a button there you can actually take that away all right so for farm six we have a wheat or well, any any uh plant farm combination with a beehive so this just increases your efficiency for um all of your wheat and stuff like you could have your wheat for the cows or whatever you want to do um this one's actually really simple and you, you can have the campfire as well if you want to actually farm honey from it as well because you have that option um but how this works is the bees get out the bees come out of here and they fly over to the flowers and they fly back over to here and that will automatically pollinate all of these plants so watch you can see this guy he's going across to the flower and he just pollinated all of these plants right here so that's how that one works 
For design number seven, we have the melon pumpkin farm. And this, this is extremely efficient. I just have two melon plants right here. And all it is, is an observer, observer, three pistons, and a line of redstone. Um, and it's just this minecart running back and forth on this cart. And this is so efficient that it had filled the entire chest, this entire hopper, and these two hoppers right here. And I built these in order. So this one was first, and that sign was last. So if that doesn't, that just proves how, how quickly this is. And all that you need for this are these blocks right here. For design number eight, we have the automatic chicken cooker killer machine. Auto chicken. Uh, and it's really simple. Um, so I, I've added a little bit of a redstone contraption on the back of it right here. So all that this does is you have a comparator running into your dispenser, which is where all of your eggs will go. And once it detects there's an egg, just like that, it'll send their pulse into the repeater into here, activating this piston, activating this redstone clock, and actually firing the piston. I mean, actually firing the um, dropper dispenser. So just like that. And I have this piston here because this clock gets really, really annoying. Um, but I will definitely make a video on this in the future. I love this build. And you can see 11 cooked chicken. The main problem with this is how many chickens there are here. And it takes forever to, for them to grow up. But yeah, here is all the materials you need there. All right, for design number nine, we have this really simple little sweetberry farm. And this is the only one that like really isn't extremely efficient. This one is just reliant on you coming in and farming these berries just like this. But what's really nice is that you can't get hurt by the berries. So you can just run through and pick up all of your berries just like that. Go up to the next row, grab them all. So it's really simple, uh, pretty efficient because the berries do grow relatively fast. And this is all that you need. Th this is it. These four things. Is all that you need to build this one all right so for design number 10 we have this really really efficient wheat farm and the reason why you would want this instead of uh this wheat farm right here is this is much faster but at the cost of a ton of bones because this runs off of bone meal um but if you guys do want to see how to get a ton of bone meal i will have my mob grinder for skeletons and zombies but mainly skeletons for the bones uh, link down below and in the cards. So I'd recommend checking that out as well But in order to activate this you flick one of these two levers and you can see the bone meals going and you just hold down right click and you break whenever you see the wheat and You just get a ton of wheat and of course I'm in creative so it doesn't work But if you're in survival, it would be extremely fast And this is all that you're gonna need in order to make this one build. All right for farm number 11 we have the smeltery. Well, it's technically not a farm. You're gonna need it for all those cows over there. Um, and you can have whatever fuel you want. I just have like and, and then subscribe as my meat. So you just get your meat from a cow farm, throw it in here, and it'll automatically go through this entire system and start cooking it. And oh my God, I didn't realize I had this going for that long. Wow, okay. So that's just out here grinding away cooking a ton of beef and all you're gonna need for this is that these th these three items Th this is it you need a, a furnace a hopper and a chest and you get this extremely efficient really nice really simple uh -oh, really nice really efficient uh smelter and finally for farm number 12 we have my mob spawner so i will switch worlds and i'll be right back with the mob spawner all right so as you can see we're in my little mob spawner we have the one spawner right there I actually broke this glass for some reason but we have the uh spawner there and we have our automatically automatic killing chamber with all of these skeletons right here and let's grab ourselves we already have a sword just break all it just kill all these guys look at look at all those drops we got a ton of xp and uh this thing's kind of insane it's a little nuts. Um, got a, all of the loots just funneling in, just going everywhere. And you can see it works really nice. They go up and they come down. And all you gotta do is just gotta bop them and now they're dead. So yeah, if you guys want a tutorial on how to make this, 
Uh, I'll have the video linked down below, as I said before. And I highly recommend that you guys go check that out. All right, so if you guys did enjoy this video, please do consider leaving a like and subscribe. And uh, if you guys did enjoy, please do let me know in the comments down below. I want to try out one of these uh, list videos, these top five, top ten type videos. Um, I want to see what you guys think of it. And uh, let me know in the comments which one you'd like to see me do first. Because I'll probably get around to making all of these, a little tutorial on all of them. But if you guys have anything that you would like in particular, make sure to let me know down below. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao for now.